Well, hello everyone, it's Rose, and I'm back with you for another unboxing. This one here is, I'm not sure what it is, you know what it is, I don't, because I didn't write all the information on it. So I'm going to be surprised, even if you're not. So I'm going to say, this is um, wrapped in that uh, packing bubble wrap that's like long tubes of... Um, air. Uh, I haven't gotten a diamond painting wrap like this for a long time. The outside feels, I don't know, powdery. Doesn't feel great. Uh, so, but that's not anything that I'm worried about for the inside. Okay, so the diamond painting uh, has seen some crushing. That's too bad. Uh, I don't love to see that. Now this is me trying out a new diamond painting company, clearly. Let's see what this is. Oh, okay. So this one here I call, what do I call it? Dragon, Phoenix, Tiger, and Snake. And I got this from the Anita store on AliExpress. It's around, it's 70 by 50. Uh, that's what it's supposed to be. So we will measure that because I have never ordered from this store before. Um, now, here are the drills. And here is the image. All right, I, I want to get that image in there. It's, it's really busy and colorful. And I knew I had to go with a big size. I hope that this is a big enough size. Um... Yeah, I hope it's a big enough size. It's a round. Uh, is that what I ordered? Yeah, it's, that's what I ordered. Okay, so let's take a look at the drill kit. So the drill kit is um, single placer with, I don't know what size that is, maybe a nine placer or something. I won't use it so it doesn't matter. Uh, a nice size bit of wax, uh, bent end tweezers, and a little funnel drill boat. So quite an acceptable drill kit. All right, so I'm not loving the way this canvas looks. It, I don't see any rivers, but it is pretty folded up. Uh, there's some, you know, little thing here where when they cut it, hold on, when they cut it, uh, you know, they didn't cut smoothly. So you see areas where it, where the canvas is fraying here on the edge. The canvas doesn't feel fantastic. It doesn't feel really bad and it's gonna be fine to drill. But uh, I am disappointed with how um, marked up the canvas is, just in terms of how bent it is, I guess, and wrinkled. Um, this one will definitely need to be ironed. Now, the other thing I see is that the Anita store did not put multiple lay, like multiple strips of adhesive on. So there's just one big strip of adhesive, which is not a problem for me. I don't mind because I will be working on this this way, three, or, three inches at a time. So, um, so that this does not bother me at all. Uh, but I know some people like their canvases to be uh, like the, the glue to be pre-cut. So, or the paper strips rather. So let's see. Oh, I didn't measure it yet. I'll measure it first. Before I forget. All right, so the adhesive goes right to the edge of the drill area on the right, or on the left, and, well, on the bottom. And on the top, it just extends a little tiny bit. It is exactly 50 centimeters high. Oops. And let's see how wide it is. It is over 69 and a half centimeters wide, so I consider that to be 70 centimeters. Okay, so let's pull this back to show you 
this diamond painting. It is very, very busy. But it looks like, like even um, sort of with my eyes. What is that? Uh, oh, I, I thought it was a fluff on the canvas, but it's not. It's uh, it's a symbol. Okay. Um, okay. The adhesive, super sticky. Super, super sticky. All right. I don't want to go beyond. Uh, I think that's about all I'm going to do because there's just a little, there's just a little tiny bit now. That, oh, goodness, I'm all stuck to it. Oh, this is going to be fine. You know what? I'm not worried about the um, the wrinkles now. This is going to be just fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the canvas or with the adhesive. And the picture, which is not straight in the camera, the picture is so clear, and I'm looking at it with my eyes, that is going to be really something. So you see the dragon over here, the phoenix, the tiger, and then up here the snake. Um, yeah, that's quite something. I just liked all of the mythical creatures and to see them all together in one place, I thought would be really cool. And I'm happy with the size. I think this is gonna look really, really good. Um, and as I was pulling back the canvas and as I'm looking at it now, I can see that those wrinkles that we saw before I pulled back the, the paper and when we were looking at the back of the canvas, they're not gonna cause a problem with this at all. In fact, I may not have to iron it. Um, I prefer not to iron my diamond paintings. So I'm glad that I, I don't think it's gonna be necessary for this one. So let's just flatten this out. I think the, um, the pressure that I'll be applying to the canvas while I'm drilling will probably straighten out a lot of those wrinkles. I might, might use a very gently warmed iron. So just a, just slightly warm um, to try and release some of the other wrinkles, but uh, but I don't think it's necessary. Okay, all right, I'm not sure how clear that was because I know I'm talking down at the canvas, but uh, all right, so generally, very happy with the image quality. Uh, I, oh, I didn't show you the drill field. I'll show you that now. Um, and I'll show you the legend as well. So once again, there's the thumbnail. And then here we have, that was the symbol, the 154, that I thought was fluff on the canvas. Um, because there was just this white uh, where nothing else was white. So it's a symbol set that I'm used to. I haven't ordered from this store before that I remember, uh, but I already have boats labeled with all of these symbols, I think. So that's good. Uh, oh, right. The symbol, the drill field. All right, so let me turn on the light for just a moment. Now, they do have circles around some of the symbols. Um, not all of them, though, so that's good. And where there are circles, they're, they're not heavy circles, so I'm not afraid of that making the diamond painting look bad if for some reason I don't lay my 
round drills down perfectly. I prefer no circles, but that's okay. I know some of you do prefer circles. So if that's you, uh, I think this canvas might, might be what you want. Okay. So let's uh, put, no, flip it over and I'll empty the drills out onto the canvas. So next time you see me, well, you won't see me, you'll see my hands. Uh, it'll be with all of the drills out of the bag and we'll be set up to do inventory. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I have not yet counted how many colors there are, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45 colors. Very respectable. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. So, Dragon Phoenix Tiger Snake is my 174th diamond painting uh, that I've ordered. Uh, I ordered it on July 7th. It was shipped on July 16th, so they took nine days, but then it only took an additional 10 days to get to me. So that was super fast shipping. I got it on uh, July 26th. I paid $36.77 for it. Now this was um, $39.01 minus a discount that I got of $2.64. The pre-discount price in US dollars is $29.10. So you might also be eligible for about a $2 discount, okay? Um, if you only buy one. Most of the AliExpress stores, if you buy multiple diamond paintings from them that exceed a certain value, you'll get a discount uh, applied. Uh, above and beyond any coupons or store coupons or AliExpress coupons. So um, anyway, but I, I wasn't sure about this store. Like I said, this is a test canvas. I wanted to test the store for you. So I did not want to spend a lot of my hard earned money on that. Okay, so uh, $7.45. Oh my, I'm gonna start the inventory now with number 745. I'm gonna go fast. like we've got everything. Now as you will have seen uh, there was a bag of 301s. It took me a little while to figure out which one but there was a, a gap in the seal of uh, one of the bags of 301s so um, I had to separate that out but just going down the list here 
it looks like I've got everything I need, so that's good. Um, there was a loose 946, I think it was. Is it 946? I can't tell. Hold on. It's either 946 or... No, not 946. Uh, I think it was a 721. But, um, yeah, it's a 721. But I couldn't find any other, like, you know, shaking the bag. Nothing else fell out. So I think that was just something that had been attached to one of the bags by static electricity. So I'm not too worried about that. And there's a little piece of red trash here. Uh, again, nothing else was loose. So I'm happy with this. Um, yeah, so it looks like it's going to be good. Uh, I mean, the canvas got a little bit beat up while it was in transit, but nothing that's going to affect the drilling. The adhesive, there was no rivers, no puckers, no nothing. The adhesive was very well laid. Um, not the best canvas I've ever received in terms of, you know, the condition that it got to me, but not something that would stop me ordering from the store again. Uh, the drills look like they're good quality. They look flat. Um, so yeah, I, I'd, I'd say I'm happy with this. Uh, I don't know when I'm ever going to get to actually drilling it, but there you go. So I want to thank my patrons and their names are up on the screen. And um, thank you so much for believing in my channel and supporting me with your contributions. I really appreciate that more than you can ever know. And, uh, and so I want to continue doing nice things for you. And I spend a lot of time thinking about what can I do for my patrons? So, um, so be on the lookout for uh, messages from me uh, asking you, you know, if you want some thing or if there's something that you would prefer for me to do, or I'll, I'll give you a lot of choice in uh, content for my channel. So, uh, so thank you so much for that. And I try to give you little gifts as well that you can, uh, that you can make use of um, on uh, my Google Drive and so forth. Uh, so yeah, so keep, keep looking for those because I will continue to post things that, uh, that I think my patrons might enjoy. Uh, for my viewers and subscribers, thank you so much. You know how much I love you. You guys are the ones who make me come back every day almost. Well, every day I'm doing something for my channel. It might not be a video that gets posted, but there is not a day that I don't work on my channel. Uh, so thank you so much for inspiring me to continue working on my channel. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love it if you subscribed. You can hit bell for notifications so that you always know when I post a new video. And you know I love your comments. So please leave me your comments down below, okay? So I will, I will be back to you again very soon. And thank you so much, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.